Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video, we're taking a look at Sony's new flagship portable audio recorder, the PCM D100. This is the successor to the very popular and highly regarded D50, so it definitely comes with some very high expectations. Well, the good news is the PCM D100's larger built-in stereo microphones deliver outstanding recordings. In fact, we're using it right now to record my voice for this video. Later in the video, we'll record an acoustic guitar performance, and we'll also take it out of our studio so you can get a better idea of how it performs in other environments. The PCM D100 is part of Sony's new line of high-res audio products, and as such, it allows you to make PCM recordings at rates of up to 24-bit, 192 kilohertz, to its internal 32 gigabytes of built-in flash memory. It also supports SD, SDHC, SDXC, and memory stick cards, and offers cross-memory recording. So when the internal memory is filled up, the D100 will switch to the card memory, or vice versa, and continue recording seamlessly. PCM D100 will record MP3 files as well, and a neat feature is its ability to record PCM and MP3 files at the same time. That's really convenient if you want to send someone a smaller MP3 file over the internet, but still want to record full audio files for your production. Another nice option when recording 16-bit PCM files is Super Bit Mapping, a proprietary Sony technology that provides 20-bit levels of audio performance with 16-bit recordings. Also smart is Sony's unique digital limiter, which actually uses two separate A to D converters per channel, one of which is always capturing audio at a 12 dB lower level than the main setting, so if the input level is too hot for the first converter, it automatically switches to the other one for a clean recording. In addition to functioning as a traditional limiter that works very well for recording louder sources, the system also gives you a signal to noise 100 dB ratio setting, which you can use instead when you're recording quieter sources. This almost eliminates any internal noise from the machine, giving you a signal-to-noise ratio of up to, yes, you guessed it, 100 dB. In addition to PCM and MP3 files, the D100 can also make DSD or direct stream digital recordings as well. DSD is the format used for super audio CDs. It's a one-bit format that works very differently from traditional linear PCM recordings to deliver audio recordings with even better fidelity. In fact, the sampling rate is 2.8224 megahertz. Keep in mind, though, that while you can edit and play back those files in the machine, the DSD format isn't supported by most audio or video editing software at this point, so depending on what you want to do with the recordings, you might want to consider 24-bit 96 or 192 kilohertz PCM files instead. The build quality on the PCM D100 is superb. The chassis is made of aluminum and there's a metal grill to protect the stereo mic array. It's powered by four AA batteries and the battery life is really long compared to other portable audio recorders. With alkaline batteries, the PCM D100 allows you to record and monitor at a 24-bit, 192 kilohertz sampling rate for about 10 hours. And if you're not monitoring, you'll get about 18 hours of battery life at that rate. A 6-volt DC power supply can also be purchased separately. The 15-millimeter microphones are adjustable depending on the width of the stereo image you want. The 90-degree XY mode is good for single sources or smaller groups, but you can opt for the 120-degree position for larger groups or wide stereo field recordings. An optional low-cut filter is also on board, which can help reduce wind noise and rumbles, and it can be set to filter out frequencies below 75 hertz or 150 hertz. We actually have it set to 75 hertz for this recording right now. The buttons and knobs feel great with two independently adjustable input knobs on the side. A nice touch is this little flap that helps guard against accidental level changes while allowing you to adjust the left and right input level dials in unison without worrying about changing their relationship. Navigating the menus is quite straightforward. Transport and navigation buttons, option and home back buttons, as well as two function buttons that you can set to take you to pages that you use a lot. The daylight readable LCD screen is large large, clear, and can be backlit by pressing the yellow light button on the side. There's also a hold switch to keep you from making accidental setting changes while recording. For monitoring, the D100 has a headphone jack with volume knob on the side, along with a stereo mini line out jack that will also output digital audio as well. There's also a little speaker on the bottom of the unit. Files can be transferred to a Mac or PC for editing via the USB port, although there are editing functions in the recorder as well. Now, as I said, you've been listening 
listening to my voice being recorded from the PCM D100 in this video, but let's try recording my esteemed colleague, Mr. Lior Boyango, playing some acoustic guitar and hear how that sounds. Musicians will appreciate the digital playback speed control, allowing you to slow down or speed up files on playback. There's also a key control option that allows you to pitch the key of the file up or down in semitones over a 13-step range. Now, obviously, the PCM D100 will play back PCM, MP3, and DSD files since it records in those formats, but it can also play back FLAC, WMA, and AAC files as well. PCM files can also be upsampled for improved quality on playback. It's also worth noting that the D to A converter is 32-bit, and the headphone amp has been specifically designed to faithfully reproduce high-quality audio, so you can use the D100 as an audio file quality portable music player. To give you another perspective, let's put the included fur windscreen on it, take it outside, and put the mics at a 120-degree angle for a wider stereo image. In addition to the built-in microphones, you can also plug in an external microphone into the stereo mini input jack, which will also supply plug-in power if your microphone requires it. Alternately, you can record stereo line level signals to the mini line-in jack, which can also handle digital inputs, say from a CD player or maybe a DAT machine if you still have one of those lying around. Now for some customers, there is one potentially big negative with the PCM D100. Like the D50 before it, there are no XLR inputs and consequently no phantom power. Furthermore, you can't do overdubs or multi-track recordings with it, but I suppose without XLR or quarter-inch inputs, that's less of an issue. For the price, it's certainly not the most versatile portable audio recorder available. What you're paying for really is sound quality, and certainly in that respect, the D100 totally delivers. The mics capture a very wide frequency spectrum, while the A to D and D to A converters sound outstanding. Also, the build quality, extended battery life, and ease of use are all big pluses. Sony also includes the fur windscreen that I mentioned earlier, an infrared remote, a soft carrying case, the SoundForge editing software for PC, and even four AA batteries so you can get started recording right out of the box. I'm Rob from B&H, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.